The campaign for May 8 local government election has been already launched and is moving at full speed ahead as two major parties, the ruling Democratic Party and the Socialists in Opposition, have later formalized names of the candidates to run in these polls and have determined which local government units will be free for their respective allies. The Democratic Party-led coalition Alliance for the Citizen, including 22 parties, has officially launched its electoral campaign last weekend with presentation of its candidate for Joanna municipality, Lulzim Basha, who joined the politics six years ago when he was elected as member of the parliament and has held important position in Berisha's center-right cabinet since then. The Democratic candidate has shifted into high gear with meetings with residents in several Joanna's neighborhood to get closely informed with the citizens' concerns regarding infrastructure, public spaces, recreational grounds, high local tax rates, congested traffic, and lack of parking lots, some of the main issues included in his campaign platform. The Socialist Party, which leads the position's Alliance for the Future, comprising 23 parties, is expected to launch electoral campaign in the coming days. The left coalition's candidate for Tirana municipality is the Socialist leader Edi Rama, who runs for a fourth term in office as mayor of the biggest municipality in the country. For the Democratic Party and its allies, the May 8 elections are focused on the citizens' need, whereas the Socialists and allies this process is a political battle to change Albania's course and return democratic values. The May 8 elections in Albania will take place in a tense political situation with two major parties at loggerheads following the June 29, 2009 elections, considered as manipulated by the Socialist opposition. The long-lasting crisis further deepened in the wake of the position's January 21st protests, which turned into violence when several hundred protesters attacked the constitutional institutions and police, leaving four protesters dead and dozens of policemen wounded. During this period, international observers and actors have constantly called for constructive dialogue between the two parties.